video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. It's 8pm and I have just got home from uni. I'm aware this is the first time that I'm talking to the camera. I wanted to film an intro this morning but the bus was arriving in like four minutes so I needed to run to get the bus and I did in fact have to run. I've literally been at the library all day so I got into uni at 10. I read for an hour and then her class at 11.15 and then I've literally just been in the library for the whole day until 7pm. It's taken me like an hour to get home so it's currently 8pm. I'm so hungry so I'm gonna heat up some carrot soup that I've got in the freezer and then I think I might make like a grilled cheese sandwich to go with it just because I don't think carrot soup will be enough for my dinner. And then this evening I've also got some edits to make on a video that's going up this Sunday. I'm also going away this weekend so I just have loads of work that I need to do this weekend. Like ideally I need to edit another video before Friday and then like do all the reading that I need to do for next week because I'm not here on Monday I'm still away on Monday so I need to prepare for the two classes that I have on Tuesday um so yeah there's just like so much that I need to get done don't have much excitement to seize the day so I didn't get up until like I think half eight this morning which is so late for me um just because I woke up at eight and then I haven't been scrolling on Instagram at all recently for like the past few weeks. My screen time's gone way down. I'm just trying not to use my phone at all more than I have to, but I've definitely been slipping back recently. Um, and this morning, like, I don't think I was scrolling really, but I was on my phone a bit and I just couldn't motivate myself to get up. I was supposed to go to the gym this morning, but instead I decided to get like an extra hour of readings done because I have so, so much to do before I go on holiday. I think I'm gonna make some dinner now and then I need to get on with editing. guys I just wanted to introduce you to today's sponsor who is Let's Get Checked. So they kindly sent me a vitamin test and I have just got my results back so I thought I would chat with you guys about them. Let's Get Checked are a leader in at-home health kits putting you in control of your own health care in the comfort of your own home and on your own time. You can access a huge range of testing kits which will be delivered in discreet packaging directly to your door. Their labs are CLIA approved and CAP accredited which are basically the highest levels of accreditation. So as I said I wanted to check my vitamin levels which are obviously so important for your immune system and overall health so this means that I can know my body better correct any imbalances and stay healthy especially in stressful times leading up to exams as you guys know my health is so important to me through my diet and exercise so I thought it was only right that I also check that I'm getting enough of the right vitamins as well so your results will be reviewed by the digital team and you will also have the option to discuss your results via a virtual consultation and in some 
cases they can actually prescribe medication to be sent to the pharmacy of your choice. The results are really easy to access and read and you can just go into the app and access your results. As you can see, for example, for the B12 one, I think I'm on the lower end of normal and it explains what B12 is for, how you can increase your B12 levels. And yeah, it's super interesting. I'm so excited to learn more about it and more about my body and how I can look after myself. And my results came through so so quickly after i sent the test i think they came through the next day if you want to get easy actionable health insights in two to five days from the comfort of your own home visit my link at trylgc.com liberty and use my code liberty25 to get 25 percent off your own testing kit so thank you again to let's get checked for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the studying Okay, so we nearly got a latte out this morning. I think I just can't get the froth the right consistency, like that's too thick to do proper latte art with, but almost there. Good morning guys, it's now Thursday and I have got myself a coffee and some breakfast. I'm also currently wearing my dressing gown, but I've taken it off to film this clip because it is not very aesthetically pleasing, but it is absolutely freezing in this flat but I don't want to put the heating on slash I don't know how to put my electric heater on and I can't be bothered to get the instructions out. It does make getting up in the morning quite difficult like I've been really struggling to get up in the morning this week. Um, I'm having like a dip in motivation this week for sure. I've been feeling like motivated fine up until now. We just got to keep to like the routines, stay disciplined. I actually don't think I've been to the gym at all this week but I have been like back and forth quite a lot so I might just take this as like a rest week and make sure that I sort of like walk to the tube instead of getting the bus and stuff like that and just make it like an active rest week and then attack it again next week and try not to beat myself up too much about it because I have been good at going recently. So yeah, we can afford to take a week off because I'm also going away this weekend and I was actually away last weekend as well so like I'm a bit all over the place at the moment. I was going to go into uni this morning before my haircut which is at 11 but by the time I got up and got ready I was like I might as well just get an hour of work done from 9 till 10 here and then leave for my haircut because otherwise I'm sort of like adding an extra half an hour of travelling to my day by going to uni first and then going to get my haircut. So we're going to stay here and do some criminal reading for an hour and then I'm going to head over to get my haircut. That's the plan for today and I'm really just trying to keep the levels of like discipline and routine up when motivation is like really failing me at the moment. I'm gonna get like bangs I think and like soft layers. I don't know if I'll suit it because like when you go on Pinterest like I love how they look but all the girls are like so so pretty and it's hard to like imagine how it will look on your own face. So we're gonna see how it goes but like I feel like I'm in desperate need of a change. to the pub as well afterwards which we usually do on a friday because 
Thursday, which we usually do on a Thursday because our class ends at like 6 p.m. So I just went for a quick drink and yeah, I thought I'd do the quick hair reveal, um, like fringe slash bangs. I quite like it like when it goes in the middle, but I did ask for like curtain bangs and like soft layers. I still feel like it looks a little bit blocky on the end. There are some layers in there and my hair is just super thin at the moment. I don't know if it's because I'm stressed or if it's always been this thin, but I think it's got thinner. But yeah, I quite like how it looks. I quite like the bangs. I think it's just like something to get used to and I need to work out how to style them because he couldn't really like get them to go to the side and stay there. If he couldn't do it, like I feel like I don't have much hope for me being able to style it myself. I like this bit, like I like how it goes long on the edges and then I also wanted it to be like that so that when I put my hair up in like a claw clip, I thought it would look cute with bangs slash a fringe if you're English. But yeah, I quite like it. I think it looks nice. So like I've got layers here. But yeah, I think it looks nice. I don't know if I prefer like when it is also in the middle, but it's actually too long because it's in my eyes. And when I was in the library, it was already doing my head in being in my eyes. I'm just gonna make some dinner now because I am so hungry. I have no idea what I'm gonna cook. I don't think I really have anything in the house, but because I'm going away this weekend, I didn't want to do a food shop. I've got spag bowl and soup in the freezer but i don't really want either of those so i might have one of those or i might like whip up a quick soy sauce pasta dish that i always make i think i made it on here before but it's from one of my favorite food bloggers knock knock on instagram <laughs> and I'm about to have the big shower and then I'm gonna do a little bit of reading in bed I think for business which shouldn't take me long I've got like a little bit of something that I want to finish so maybe like half an hour of business reading and then I'm gonna be going to bed because I've got a 9am class tomorrow and that means I have to get up at seven o'clock so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog if you're struggling with motivation too I really hope that it has helped a little bit with that and that you've enjoyed watching it and yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in the next video.